All right, thank you so much here. Uh, the program this morning on ITV is still very much alive. And uh, let's say uh, happy Arch Wednesday to our Christian sisters out there. Uh, I was about going to say it when I started this show today, but uh, because of time and all that. Now, Arch Wednesday is one opportunity that gives uh, you the opportunity uh, to go for penance as a Christian. So you need to go closer to God Almighty and uh, God will forgive you your sins. Well, I did say that uh, we're going to be looking at uh, fixing infrastructural deficits. Uh, the mega agenda approach has been uh, put together by the Edo State Government. But briefly, let's see uh, Dr. Ungozi Okunja Ewela, who becomes uh, the Director General of the World Trade Organization. There's no doubt that, that this woman's uh, wealth of experience is going to bring uh, some tremendous changes that a lot of people have been waiting for. And of course, we're told that she's a development economist and former finance minister of Nigeria. And uh, she has uh, also chaired the board of uh, Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, since 1st January 2016. And as it stands now, we understand that uh, uh, she has also held so many, many uh, establishments uh, before this time. But one thing that stands clear is the encouragement that her uh, emergence now as the WTO chair now gives to uh, the women folk. What, so quickly look at uh, this this morning. We are so privileged to have Dr. Ambrose Uche, who is a lecturer with uh, the Department of uh, Mass Communication at the University of Benin, uh, Uniben here, and also a public affairs analyst. Sir, so you welcome to this program. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, just to make a correction on the name, uh, is uh, Uche Nunu. Okay, Uche Nunu. Yes. Not Uche. No, no All Uche Nunu. All right, so yeah. we're going to correct that. So he's Dr. Ambrose Uche Nunu. Now, uh, we, we're, we're seeing the emergence of Dr. Ongozi Okunje Wela. You know, imagine as uh, the Director General of the World Trade Organization, the first African, the first female, and of course, uh, the first uh, uh, individual from the black world. Uh, what does this uh, tell us? Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, welcomed, uh, it's a welcome development. Uh, uh, first, uh, at, the, at the initial stage, we were very happy, and then uh, we, uh, the, the news uh, went wrong again, and then we say, what's going on here? About uh, with the coming of Joe Biden, uh, I think it's, uh, it is a welcome development. First, um, uh, the image <coughs> of uh, Nigeria is, uh, is well uh, represented. So it's not like um, a country where you have all uh, negativity. So something positive uh, uh, is coming to us. And then um, we're very sure and um, are confident about um, the capability, the power, the, the, the dexterity of uh, Ngozi uh, Okonjo uh, yeah. Iwela in uh, uh, in, in mounting the, the, the office of uh, the World Trade Organization. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a welcome development, and uh, uh, I can't say that I'm not happy about it. Okay. Now, we're told that she was one time a managing director of, uh, at the, uh, the uh, uh, World Bank. Now, do you see all this alongside with her uh, very heavy and weighty portfolio? Do you see it bringing uh, some tremendous changes to the WTO? Certainly. Uh, certainly. And first, um, um, well, we, we, we always say that we shouldn't take sides, but um, definitely we take sides. And uh, um, the, the developing world has been, uh, has been uh, kept at the, at the background, particularly those that are producing uh, 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 well, the, the crops, the, the farm produce, the cocoa, and uh, the, the coffee. I know how much they are not getting what they're supposed to get. And her coming in, I'm sure we are well represented in this situation. Yeah. When you say we well, mean the black world, yeah, the black world, uh, not just the black world, the the the, uh, the developing world. The, okay, but, but but do you see the possibility of uh, say a country like Nigeria uh, gaining more? I mean, uh, having uh, the director general as a Nigerian. Well, I I may not I may not be able to uh, to talk on that because this is uh, world politics and uh, she's not going to single-handedly uh, uh, throw things at uh, Nigeria. So, of course, she's for the world, and then um, she has to look at what is missing where and how to represent those people well. So it's not like uh, uh, it's a Nigerian thing, and then, of course, just look at Nigeria. He's going to look at Africa in general, and, of course, you're talking about uh, South America, where some of these uh, pr uh, produce are coming from. She's going to also look at that. So she's representing more of the tall world countries. For me, that's what I feel, okay. rather than just the black world okay now she has said that she's going to look at uh, trade relations as it relates to uh, nations of the world now let's take our mind back a little to uh, the fight against COVID-19 
Now, one strong uh, challenge that uh, most developing nations uh, face in uh, the fight against COVID-19 is uh, the fact that uh, the apparatus, uh, you know, used for fighting COVID-19, most of them are not produced yet. They are imported in the, into the country. And uh, nations that produce uh, these apparatus, these tools, they take advantage of uh, developing nations. Dr. Unkozi Okundrewela has said that uh, she's going to come in first uh, to make sure that she puts on strong, uh, you know, uh, laws uh, to make sure that developing nations uh, benefit from all this. Now, some people have also said that she may not find this easy uh, because there's going to be uh, blocks, you know, certain blocks uh, in the world trade uh, that are going to decide how these laws are going to evolve. Well, uh, that we don't produce uh, particularly the, the vaccine is not a uh, we never researched it in Africa, and we don't have our own uh, version of the vaccine. Um, you cannot beat taking sides. That's what I, I, I said just a while ago. Uh, you take care of yourself first before you, you take care of others. And I think it's in the Bible that uh, first remove the, uh, the, the law, the the law that is in your eyes. The speck, law, yeah, before you remove the speck. Yeah, before you yeah. remove the speck from someone. So there is no way that, um, yes, she will, she's going to make some impact. It's not just like sitting idle or you don't have somebody uh, speaking for you that she is there to speak for uh, for uh, the third world countries yes um there will be there will be some significant uh, uh changes that will emanate from her being in the office rather than when there's no one there to, to speak for uh these uh, uh people from the uh, third world or developing uh, uh nations so there will be changes but it's 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 still I really don't know how it's going to be because first they, they will take care of themselves first and then before they start looking at others and even though in the course of um, of uh, enriching themselves in the in the production of the vaccine okay now uh dr ongozi okonjoy weala she's going to be resuming on the first of march 2021 that's uh, uh about some few weeks from now that's when she's going to eventually resume in office and uh, we're told that uh, she stands the opportunity of uh, becoming uh you know another uh, Director General in the, after five years. That's uh, which is going to this tenure that she starts um, uh, 1st of March ends uh, August 25th, 2025. So even after that, she stands the opportunity of emerging one more time. I, I hope you would like her to emerge <laughs> again. We're going to give her the health and, and also um, uh, more wisdom to uh, run the uh, office. So it's uh, again, yeah, I, I'm sure all, all that depends largely on her on her performance. So and I'm quite confident that she's going to do well. Okay. All right. Uh, we uh, said that uh, we're going to be looking at uh, infrastructural def deficits in Nigeria. And, of course, uh, looking at uh, the mega agenda, the mega approach of the Edo State uh, you know, government. Now, when we talk about infrastructural def def deficits, we're uh, looking at uh, uh, the rates and the speeds and the, the extent of development in our societies, in our states and the country. And uh, there's no doubt that uh, politicians come and they uh, introduce new measures to see how uh, these uh, uh, infrastructures can be improved upon. Uh, the industrial government has started something. Uh, and some people, uh, you know, kind of look at it that, okay, this is the right thing to do and this is not the right thing to do. And uh, we're told that uh, is the mega agenda approach whereby uh, some group of enumerators, uh, you know, are said to be going around downtown collecting uh, data. Now, if you take your mind back uh, during the campaign of the last year's uh, governorship election, uh, we understand that uh, it was something that uh, the state governor talked about, uh, talking about the mega agenda, how uh, to make Edo State uh, great again. Uh, doctor, uh, you may have also heard about uh, the mega approach of, uh, uh, you know, uh, revisiting infrastructural def deficit in Edo State. I don't know what your, your takes are on this uh, as it relates to the Edo State government. Well, um, it's... Um it's quite interesting. Um, uh, one thing I, I, I noticed about the Obaseki uh, administration is uh, um, trying to uh, fix buildings, uh, particularly the secretariat area, secretarial area, where um, in, uh, infrastructures have been there and left, almost left to decay. And he came in and then and then start picking them up and then. Um, 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 refurbishing them and then um, um, putting them into use it's uh it's something that i find very very interesting because i know for as long as i know bini mm -hmm. bini city i know some of those buildings have been there 
left uncompleted and he has come and changed that so that is one thing i'll give him kudos for okay now when we talk about infrastructure def deficits uh, they are so numerous uh, you talk about uh, roads uh, you talk about uh, uh, provision of pipe on water and of course you talk about uh, electricity uh, you talk about uh, provision of health care good and adequate health care uh, you also talk about insurance scheme uh, you know and all that now uh, from uh, the look where do you think uh, the governor should start from with this mega approach that is uh, involving now well uh, uh, mega is an acronym for make a do great again but mega by the English word is uh, gigantic mm -hmm. enormous big large whatever you can call it's, 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 it's big and when you look at all these problems where to start from may not be the issue it's uh, putting the right um, people uh, in place and it's delegating power to them to do things and if they are ready to work if they are ready to work everything can go on as long as uh, the finances are there to take care of, of, of the infrastructures mm. as long as the finances are there I don't think that's a problem at all. Where to start from may not be a problem. However, it is also good to go around, take data of areas. Kind what of needs assessment? Yes, needs assessment. Okay. What What is it that these people want? Talk to people. Mm -hmm. Do a door to door campaign, door to door assessment. Talk to them or go to community and ask what they want. But let them know. That you're coming what are your problems and give them a date so don't just jump i don't think we should just jump into them because at the end of the day they may not be organized mm -hmm. so they should meet and say okay these are the things that we need in our community and then and then of course um, the government can um, go all out to provide those particularly if the funds are there now we understand that uh, all these are going to be achieved uh, you know with very scarce resources now, as somebody that works in Edo State here, uh, you pretty understand the state of infrastructures in the state. Where will you want the state government to start from? Well, I think roads, uh, roads, uh, uh, one thing that um, uh, the government uh, can provide, which individual have not and may not be able to provide for themselves road. Road access is, is, is have the road access, but whether they are thorough, is another situation so road access i'm sure if we start with that and then of course move on to move on to um, um health and then talk about education but you realize that the major for me i feel that road is is an area to to kick off from because the individual can hardly provide road. We provide water. Well, we provide we provide health. Yeah. We provide school by by through uh, our private uh, uh, schools. So uh, those have been taken care of. Even though uh, it's not the way to go, but even in the developed world, of course, they have private schools. So um, and health also have not been uh, well handled in most uh, in most uh, uh, developed uh, uh, cultures. Mm. Well, don't you think that uh, it's probably uh, because you stay somewhere like GRA? Uh, take, for example, for someone that stays down Siloko Road around the Ego area, we were told that uh, the roads are there now are in a pretty bad shape. Now, when these enumerators go there to uh, take a sample of the need assessments, when they go for need assessment to see uh, what these people need. They may also come with road, that the roads there are not good. But for somebody that stays in the GRA that probably needs more electricity, more health care, and of course uh, uh, more other social amenities other than road, he may not say so. So this may f be a challenge, uh, you know, in achieving uh, this mega agenda, you know, with all this. I don't agree with you that uh, those in GRA doesn't, don't need roads. <laughs> the the roads in GROA, when you look at the roads in GROA, they have, you have problems with flooding. Mm. And wh why do we have problems with flooding? When at the conception of the GROA, compounds were not meant to be cemented, were long. So the water, rainfall, rainfall sinks. But with modernization, the compounds are elevated and everything that comes from the sky goes into the road. By the time you look at the roads in GRA, they are like a pot. They are lower than, 
than the compound, than the building. So the land that, that the side, so there the water comes. So you have flooding in the Jari. So I don't think that uh, if, when, even when I say road, even though the roads are tired, you need to also look at uh, the drainage system, which is not there. What do we do? Elevate the road, whatever they want to do. Of course, the structural engineers should go in and then uh, assess, make assessment of those places and see how uh, a flood can be uh, controlled. I always tell uh, a colleague of mine that um, when you talk about um, uh, Minnesota, uh, talk about uh, a city with a thousand lakes, mm. and when there is heavy snow and the snow thaws, Minnesota never get flooded because the lakes are there to take the flood. The flood. Yeah. So what I have, I wish I could advocate is why don't we have lakes in most very low areas in Benin City rather than build long. Uh, um, a canal or drainage that may lead to nowhere. Mm. So that's 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 what I think. So even the GRA need road, and even the roads are there. They need uh, flood control. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now uh, the enumerators, the people that are going to be going around uh, various communities, uh, various societies in the states, are going to be collecting uh, what uh, is referred to as data. Now, what that simply means is that. Uh, uh, they just come to you and ask you, what do you need? You tell them, they put it down, you know, in another few uh, minutes, they, they are able to generate what that area actually needs. Now, for some critics, they say that this is probably not the right way to go in terms of fixing uh, infrastructural deficits in the state. I, I don't know what your takes are. Well, it's, a, it's one way to go, hearing from the people what they want. Sometimes you meet community leaders and, and check with them what they want. Uh, in where I stay, we, uh, the transformer has been terribly overloaded. So uh, by the time you get there, they might just tell you, oh, we need road and, uh, and uh, extra transformer so that um, where the fuse doesn't, uh, don't, don't keep going off every now and then. And then you call the, the, um, the authorities to come and get it fixed. And sometimes before they come, you will have a still period of blackout. Not that there's no power. To the transfer, but the transfer cannot uh, 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 distribute the power because of of overloading. Mm. So even even then, they may tell you what they want. So you you may drive past the area, you don't know what the problem is now, without that, without meeting mm. with the community or meeting with the people. Okay. So yes, yes, that that will. Secondly, thank God we're going to uh, we're talking about census, which is a national thing. I don't know if states cannot actually try as much as possible to also check census i know when i came to edo in 2012 beginning 2012 you can hardly have traffic in the city but between then and now it's beginning this has become a bit uh, a bit uh, overpopulated there were vehicles then well i don't know whether it's population has come in or people uh, the economy has improved and uh, lots of people uh, have the means to purchase uh, uh, vehicles so I just feel it's a case, a situation of population. You can't drive Sabler Road only Russia and drive so freely, no. you know. So that's 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 something to do with population. Okay. So uh, uh, population checking the number of people also can, if they can do that. But I'm sure the census without um, introducing policies, we, we can produce a lot of results in in that situation. And you know, this are uh, number of people to one transformer. That's just too much. Okay. So with this approach now, you think it's the right thing to be done? It is the right thing. I think. I, I think it's. it's uh, collect data. Yes, it is. Okay. It is the right thing by the governor um, um, and his team. What they're doing, I think, it's uh, is the right thing. Where we pray also that the data will be put into use, so that uh, yeah, it's not just go collect data and at the end of the day, uh, we are. But again, it's all struggle. We must start from somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Now, Doctor uh, uh, Ambrose, let us look at the apathy of the people. Uh, the, 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 the somewhat nonchalant attitude of some citizens. I mean, we both live here. We know how people uh, react to issues, most especially uh, when they are new. Now, uh, take for example, uh, now I've been part of the polio vaccination when Nigeria had polio. A lot of people, they want to be vaccinated, you know, because uh, they probably see it as a new norm. Uh, they even suspect, uh, you know, uh, the, the approach. Now, don't you think that may be a challenge to the state government? I mean, having people come into your abode to ask questions and all that, they are not used to this uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, approach in fixing uh, infrastructural uh, deficits. So what do you think uh, should be done? Is there any alternative means, alternative methods that 
information that we emanate into data can be generated by the state government? Well, um, the, the all that alternative that I may just think, but I think is the right approach, and then um, you just have to try. Is like when you go and run box up on the streets, you meet people. Vox Pops, of course, for those who are at home, we don't know what Vox Pop is. Just go to the street and ask them, um, um, is it get information? Uh, is it question? Yeah. Right? You meet some, even if they know they don't want to talk to you, particularly if you have the camera. Some they just say, oh, who is this stranger coming to talk to me? What was he talking about? They just swing and walk by. There will be those who will talk to you and they will sometimes say more than you expected. So, um, not doing it at all is. Uh, a failure. So it's a case of uh, if you run, you may lose. Mm. If you don't run, you are guaranteed mm. to lose. So let's run. Do it and let's see how it goes. And then if we if if there are other issues, other areas to look at, I'm thinking that if it's possible to um, look at the social media, is there a way to pass information to these people? Say the area you live. Okay. And then send what you want mm. that's another way because at the end of the day sometimes these people are not going to go uh, walking about um the streets at night daytime no one is at home that's gates are new, locked you now yes yeah daytime the gates are locked so how do you get information so it's sensitized sensitized people know that okay we want information in your area but that's also the reason why i say okay meet with community leaders mm. the community leaders of course a lot of them are retired and then they can even come and uh, give information that this is a major problem but the alternative is social media can they send a message to somewhere that oh i live in this area and if loads of people send message from that area and they are talking about the same thing then of course isn't it possible to go and investigate and see if it's uh it's, it's true so that's it you have we have radio programs that talk <laughs> about areas with bad rules and all that all that could come in. That's that's how also to generate some of this data. Mm -hmm. So you know that okay, this these programs talk about this. Oh, we, we, there's no power supply for so, so and so months because our transformer is bad, and then we don't have money to to, to replace it. Or the authorities say they will replace it, but it hasn't been replaced. You know the problem. They say, oh, our roads are always flooded. You can't pass through this place at so and so time, and all that. Those are problems. There are there are roads that can also take traffic off the major road. If those link roads are not also taken care of, then of course we have problem. Mm -hmm. People tell you that oh, our problem is traffic. One major uh, criticism against governments when they come up with major approach in fixing uh, issues like this uh, is the fact that uh, people begin to uh, look at it that oh, why are you starting from uh, the urban centers? Why don't you start from the rural centers? Perhaps uh, these rural centers need more of this attention than the urban centers. And this uh, now becomes uh, a kind of uh, a, a clog in the wheel of progress. Uh, I don't know if you have anything to say to this as it relates to this issue. Make a do great again. Yeah, of course. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not make Bini great again. So if we are talking about this, I will assume that it's going to go round. So it's not like uh, it's going to be concentrated in the urban. Uh, uh, center or, or cities in a in edo so they will still go to the, the to the rural area and see what is uh yeah, is needed and uh, the rural area yes electricity what is uh, uh water and i'm sure some of them have been also been taken care of but again it's good to go around and then see what they want uh, roads will be an, a, a major issue because that's where the food come from if road is good a uh, transportation transporting food to the city also will be okay so uh, is a is a the, uh, the 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 mega agenda is not uh it's not it's not make a uh, binigo so it's it's make edo so i think that it's uh it covers the uh, uh the, the states but do you think the governor has enough time the governor has just about three more years uh, to leave oh, yeah uh, at uh, by 2023 2023 2024 he would have completed uh the second tenor so this time is it enough to achieve all this well uh, uh it's to start from somewhere uh, the problem, um, let me not say problem, um, the, uh, uh, politics, people have different uh, gender. That's, but at the end of the day, you realize that we're still talking about the same thing. Mm -hmm. The agenda is still going to be, no matter how, what name you coin, it's still going to be what? means uh, ability to live well. Living well is what you are all about. And that's, why, that's what governance is all about, security, mm -hmm. health, 
a good uh, education, good roads, of course the infrastructures as in all. What wherever he stops is where he stops. But whatever he is able to achieve will be credit to him. He's not going to be here. He's not going to be a live uh, uh, governor that will be there. But I will pray, I desire that uh, the incoming uh, governor, the next governor, will uh, also take off from uh, from where he stopped. I believe he took off. Also, he did. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let me not say that, uh, he did, but I believe he did also uh, 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 took off from where um, the other governor uh, stopped. Uh, stopped. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, the other governor was on road, 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 and of course he too. Uh, there are roads, uh, road uh, uh, rehabilitation going on. You know, around around the palace area, there were roads that the governor didn't do, uh, the past governor didn't do. But I, I, you, you drive past the place, you have all lick road everywhere cleaned up. So, uh, I, I wouldn't say he did, he did not. He may not follow his exactly the way uh, the things he wanted to do. But I think he's done some. I know. There, yeah, just before we go now, there's no doubt that that uh, this uh, approach is probably uh, one of uh, the most acceptable and our most developed uh, means of uh, generating information as it relates to uh, developments. But we're looking at a society that uh, the uh, level of uh, information technology is still, is still low, so to say. You talked about the social media a while ago. A lot of people are still not social media compliant. It's what amazes you to know. Most people uh, don't still believe in information from the social media. Most people don't just go to the social media uh, to contribute or to generate or even to get awareness. You know, uh, I don't know what your take is on this. Well, you can't get 100%, and that's uh, where, where we want to achieve 100% uh, in, uh, uh, in the public. It's a major problem. Uh, you won't get it, but you just have to try and see this is what it, it's like research. Go in. And this is what I'm able to get. Mm. I, I said it just a while ago that um, um, in, in Vox Pop, that if you go out, go out there and interview, you want to talk to uh, 20 people, you may have maybe five or six to mm. talk to. The others will just walk and say, no, I don't, I don't want to talk to media or I don't want to have anything to do with the media. So, but if you give it a go, you will see that there are a lot. Of course, uh, we, we know what happened during NSAS and what social media did to... Uh, uh, due to answers and then uh, we know what social media is doing uh, presently uh, I have the the chairman of my of my area of my community uh, uh, at Ubo there uh, the chairman of the uh, the, the, the street area he's uh, he's, uh, he's on uh, he's on uh, he's on he's on whatsapp so the the the, 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 the area the, the landlords association are all on whatsapp so you can communicate okay so it's not like you're going to meet every person must say something. No, it's 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 it may not be it, it won't possible. You can you can achieve that. But major, what how many people were you able to talk to and what is their response? What do they want? How did they get it? So if the campaign is okay in your area, send us information, send information to this what you want, you look at it, you investigate. Now what do you think is your guarantee that uh, this approach will succeed? Well, it's uh, well. They're, they're, you you can't guarantee when you have not tried. <laughs> so you have to try first, okay. and then if you fail, you know that I tried and failed. But you don't have to look at failure. You look at success and you push. And of course, we also solicit for uh, contributions and uh, uh, you know contributions and uh, uh, commitments from the people, so as to make the state government uh, you know succeed in this. Yes, area. certainly, uh, certainly. Is uh, is com is coming up? They are not going to do anything more than just to say that okay, this is what we want, and then. Uh, 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 receive uh, uh, the the enumerators or what that are coming to the data to the, collectors. Yes, the data yeah. collectors they, they, to to receive them and receive them and talk to them politely and tell them what you want genuinely. Genuinely, what you want is not like oh you want everything. Mm -hmm. uh, the governor may not be able to provide anything if you're talking about water. It's it's uh, it's just maybe the the great uh, Bini area, uh, the Bini city area that have what are you talking about Ubo and all that how. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge project. Mm -hmm. But again, there's nothing that one cannot start. We don't know who is going to come in. Okay. Fi mm -hmm. uh, financiers may come in, World Bank may come in, and, and then it may, it may not even be the governor's problem anymore. Mm -hmm. The issue now is that, okay, if, it's, if World Bank comes in, then even if the governor leaves, World Bank hands, handles it, whoever comes in. So we don't know. Less, it's, it's a matter of uh, starting, and when, sometimes when you start, you say, oh, this person is doing well and all that. And of course, finance may, may come in, but if you don't, at the end of the day, they think, oh, you are one of them just there to 
uh, to make noise and then uh, and then uh, and then uh, steal money. But when you start a project and you 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 solicit for help, sometimes they will see that okay, this is towards the right direction. So when we are talking about his limited period, mm -hmm. sometimes if like I said, World Bank comes in, his period doesn't matter. But it will be credit it will be credit to him that he started it. Yeah. All right, so the watchword is uh, the people should help the governor to achieve uh, this uh, because at the end of the day, uh, it's all going to uh, be all on of us as people in the state. I think that should be the watchword. That's it. All right. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Ambrose Uche Nunu, a yeah. uh, lecturer with uh, the Department of uh, uh, Public uh, Mass, Communication. Of Mass, Communication Mass Communication at uh, the University of Benin, uh, University of Benin uh, here in Edo State, and also he is a public affairs analyst. Well, we'll take a short pause now so that uh, we'll make preparation to join uh, Ajuri in Gilali, uh, the SSA to the President on Public Affairs as he talks on federal government survival implementation. Stay tuned.